So a lot of you might not know, I do portrait work, and I've actually been doing portrait work since 2007. Uh, I got asked to do a portrait of these two guys. But before I could do that, I needed to get an underdrawing, and here it is already on the canvas. Um, but before I could do that, I had to get the photos right of these two little guys. The face right on this one, because he wasn't quite smiling, and then this guy was perfect. And I got this underdrawing together, and then got it up on the canvas, and you can see me paint it from here. Uh, the style, I would ultimately call impressionist. Um, I, I've done, I've done some fairly photoreal impressionist, uh, images, portraits on canvas for some clients over the years. And I've finally gotten fairly confident with these directly on canvas. Back in 2007, I was working in digital format with a company that took your photo and turned it into a digital painting. And I became the assistant art director at this business. And we had a lot of artists cranking out these digital images. And part of my job was to go back in and make sure the faces were right, especially on children, because people get real particular about their kids and rightly so. I mean, I have kids. Uh, some of you know, these are my kids. Um, so, I, I get it. I understand the pickiness about wanting to convey all the cuteness that is the child. And I've done some memorial portraits. Um, those are hard because I think people remember people a certain way. And when they're gone, all they're left with is that memory. And you may never get one of those right. So those are really difficult. <sighs> I do want if somebody asked me, but it's not something I'm going to go seek out. Um, maybe I should bring that up on screen. Hold on one second. So I found it. Um, here she is. This is one of the photos that I was given. This is ultimately the one I worked from. And I had to take off those glasses and uh, the old ear pods. Unfortunately, uh, she had an untimely passing. She was someone I knew through a circle of friends, and um, one of my friends asked me to do this portrait of her, so that's what we came up with. And he was very pleased with it, and um, as was I. And I'm not saying that he was a difficult client, um, I, and I'm not saying anybody's a difficult client when it comes to that kind of work. It's just that it's a difficult time for people, I think. And even though some time had passed, it's still it's still tough. So anyway, uh, back to working on my oldest kid's face. Uh, there's a lot of back and forth here, as you'll see. And ultimately what you may notice about these guys is that the older one has kind of a, a light brown blondish hair and the baby has kind of red hair and blue eyes. Whereas the uh, older ones get the brown eyes. So there is a little difference in some of the skin tone and some of, of course, the hair and, and eye color. And uh, I had to do a, a good bit of back and forth. Otherwise, you know, their coloring is pretty close. Um, and I wasn't going for like some kind of hyper realistic coloring look. Uh, I went a little more real with that last memorial portrait that we just looked at but with these guys uh like i said it's more than an impressionist laying in uh, just like an energetic expressionist feel of of color and shape more than it is uh, just hammering out photoreal art which i can do i just don't really see the point uh, this is more gestural more enjoyable and uh People who look at it tend to say that they can feel the energy of the painting and the energy of the artist and all this kind of thing. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, I, I can get step back a little bit as to why I go with this style. So back when I was working as an art director or assistant art director for that company doing all those portraits, uh, one of the things that people would ask when they would order the higher customization levels on the work 
so that they could speak with the artist and talk with us directly and and actually have a little give a little art direction they would ask for can you do kind of an impressionist style and it's like yeah okay well that's a little vague right um <laughs> i think that um one of the main things you'd have to discuss right off the top is you've got uh, when you think about Paul Cezanne, you think about Renoir, you think about, uh, what do you think about Renoir? You think about, uh, Manet. And when you think about Manet, of course you think about Monet. And then some people lean towards thinking that, um, Van Gogh was an impressionist and he didn't really fit into that. You know, he was doing palette knife paintings. And I don't think any of the Impressionists that were painting the streets of Paris or uh, the self-portraits that they did and all the other, like, family, regular life, they weren't painting with palette knives, with thick impasto paintings. So that's an impasto painting style that you think about when you think about Van Gogh. Um, you know, like the Cezanne, the, the Monet, and the Manet. Um, Sicily, Renoir, those are, uh, Sario, those are the, the essential or quintessential impressionist artists of the late 1800s. And the style is pretty gorgeous. And it's, it's something that you can work with. I think that uh, I, I certainly modernized the impressionist style uh, just with a color palette here. So one of the other products that we offered in that studio was pop art and it was very popular as well. So what I've kind of done here is just created a style that was reminiscent. And this here we're looking at an, a close to complete painting, but there's, there's still some more work to go, but I just wanted to stop and, and get a little look at things before I went any further. So, you know, the pop art style was really, uh, popular and then and that was kind of the Andy Warhol quintessential images uh, and people like those and then they also enjoyed uh, the regular painting style that we did which was it was kind of impressionist it was like an oil you know it was all digital but uh, prints to canvas but uh but when they would call and they would ask and they would spend extra money so that they could ask for such a style, it started to dawn on me, you know, this is kind of what the feel of what people enjoy. So, you know, some of these people ultimately buy, you know, commission work from artists that are not in a digital studio. They'll go to art fairs or even galleries and purchase artwork and we would talk about that you know I, I enjoyed talking with people and seeing where you know where their art appreciation really was and most people are early on in their journey of art appreciation truly that are buying uh, digital portraits from from photos but uh you know that's okay you got to start somewhere and these paintings back then they were they were pretty cool for what people wanted but this is ultimately the, the, the amalgam of what we were doing as pop art and what we were doing as portraiture and what people were wanting as impressionist work. And so I think I can do some that are a little more photo real than the one of the boys here, like that uh, memorial portrait. I've done some others, but uh, here it is. This is... This is the piece finished and it looks, it looks a lot like my kids, it really does. So this was a gift to my mother-in-law for Christmas. Um, she was over the moon for this and I was really pleased as was my wife who uh, allowed me the time to create this for her. So we were all, we were all really happy about this. and. Um, you know, if you're interested in something like this, just reach out to me. Um, I really enjoy making these. This is the kind of stuff I'd do, even if I didn't get paid. I'd do it for fun and I'd do it for free. So, hope you enjoyed the making of the little video. Take care. See ya.